Hey everyone, this is alternate clock mechanisms. I've been playing around with different mechs in the clock. So, um, as you may or may not know, clocks are indexed because of these four bumps. These uh, gears have to catch in the bump. And the problem with like having four pins up is not only the friction, but the all f when you have all four of the buttons and the pins up, all the gears have to rub against these bumps and pop up and down. And that takes a lot of force, so you notice uh, four and three uh, pins up are hard. Um, so Stanley was telling me it would be really cool if I could figure out a way to make a mechanism that doesn't have that issue. I played around with something earlier, and I decided to try something today. It is a bumpless clock mechanism. Does it work well? No, it, it doesn't work well at all. Um, there are a bunch of other issues that are way more important and we'll talk about that. Um, to backtrack a little bit, so clocks have been ordered but they were o oversold and now I have to make a over twice as many as I originally thought and I'm still working out like better ways to do things. So Stanley suggested a small change and I said to myself, that's a really good change, I think we could do it. And then I was playing around and I was like, oh, if instead of using Teflon axles, if we use uh, acetal or that's like plastic for poly polymerized, uh, uh, it's basically polymerized formaldehyde, but it's not really the same thing. It's a, it's a chemical group, polyoxymethylene. If we use that to coat our axles, it's a hard material that's really smooth. It's actually, um, we can get more clocks out and it's just as good practically uh, once it's lubed as Teflon in the, in the clocks. And Stanley said that it is the fastest clock he's ever tried. He, he likes to keep his mains slow, but it was really cool hearing that because that's what we were going for, um, a smooth and fast turning clock. So those are, they're on their way. I have to crank them out. I'm cranking them some out this weekend and it's gonna be nonstop cranking out and they're gonna ship next week with all of the new changes. And uh, hopefully there will be no more changes, but I keep finding issues and uh, Stanley who got the tester version, he gave me feedback and I'm gonna use that feedback. So that, that explains the delay. Now back to alternate mechanisms. So you can see there are 12 magnets inset in this frame. They don't do anything. This was just cause um, I had another experiment where I used that to index the, the gear. That had its own issues and it didn't work out too well. Um, but this, has no bumps inside, but you'll hear and see it's clicking into place. Now, how is it clicking? Like, how am I turning this? And it, it goes to those places, but it has no bumps. How is that possible? So I'm gonna open this up and I'll explain. It's because I, uh, if you remove all the bumps, and you have like radial poles, and these have a spring and it can catch into like a zone. You can make it so none of the gears, none of these ever have to go up and down or do this weird sideways motion. So like, if you didn't know, these four gears have to bump like this against the bump and then go back in. So when you're doing like, uh, let's say a 45 degree rotation, actually no, 90 degree rotation, it would bump twice and uh, vice versa for however many. So all of these bumps make it hard to turn. Whereas this, it, uh, there's no rigid. It's not that hard to turn, but there are some serious issues that I will go over. So the biggest issue with this mechanism is these aren't indexed. And I thought to myself, if you just index the center, then these don't matter because they have to touch something that touches the center, right? Except in the case where if you're on one face and you're playing around, that other side can jiggle. So this, this gear is now, the gear for the button is now, it, it can catch until this is turned, but this isn't catching it. It's catching on these, which is completely different from the lockup and these lockups happen in tandem 
with the gears not being aligned because you have two other gears that can go out of alignment. And you see how this is in the middle and I can touch this and it'll go through if you heard the click. Um, but I'll open this up. This is just for the fun educational thing and everyone out there should also definitely try your own things. Um, if I can find a screwdriver, there we go. So let's have a look at this mechanism. I also came up with another one like yesterday, but that one didn't, ooh, magnets popping. That one didn't turn out too good. So you can see here, these are disconnected. They turn independently of each other just because of a simple plastic insert. So no issue there, but because they turn and they're non-indexed, this can misalign and the buttons will catch. The magic is here. It's uh, this little thing. So this is a drop-in insert that allows it to be indexed without having any bumps. And like I said, this is just for like, oh, what a cool thing. It's not actually better than the current mech. So you see here, there are ramps. And I thought to myself, if these ramps are like this, they'll like move easily because a bump, that can't be like 30 degrees. If you have like smooth ramps, it'll be easier. So these engage in there. I call them radial poles. I'm not sure if that's what they're actually called. You can hear that it's indexed. And instead of a spring, it has the force of a magnet. And these are held in right here. And this holds that stationary because you need one part stationary so that this can push down and it'll click. So you can, you can see that it's stopping at discrete intervals. And that's how I thought to myself we could make a better mechanism without bumps. And because this little insert part right here, this is the part that is uh, going up and down, the top and the bottom are completely stationary and they can hover and they won't have to like move into this off axis rotation and that hopefully it would be smoother. But as it turns out, because of that lockup issue, it's just not possible. And uh, yeah, here's two magnets repelling. So yeah, that's just a cool bit of interesting story right there. Um, hopefully my next video will be more interesting. So see you all in the next video.